Hi all, my name is Jane Kumar and today I am going to show how we can export uh, export the table content into the Excel file. Uh, well, first of all, when you listen this, you will say it, it would be very straightforward and you, you can use export collection listener and you can export the data into the Excel file. But what if, if you want to export only few of the columns, not the whole table, you just want to export only the two or three columns to the Excel file, how you would do it? Uh, one of the options you can use Apache POI and uh, you can uh, use, you can do the customize but for that you have to code a lot but how, today I am going to show how we can do this thing without doing much of the coding and it would be very straightforward. So I am going to create a new application here, I am just going to create a new application. And I will leave all the default values and click on the finish. Go to the model, uh, just right click new area of PC component, this component from table, copy the connection. I'm using a default HR XC schema. Okay. So I'm going to create only a uh, one entity. So I'm just after create, I'm using employee entity object, then I will be using this employee view object which will be updatable and then click on the finish. Alright, now go to the view controller page and click on the new and I, I'm just going to create a PR plain JXPS page so which will be easily runnable so make sure that it will be default and so on. Export. Click OK. All right. So we have we go to the data control here. Mm -hmm. We have that employee data control. So I I'm drag, uh, drag drop this employee and as tip. Okay. We will select all the columns. Uh, yep. I will surround with a panel group layout to look much better than before. All right. Then we have a table. We have a table now. I'm going to try and drop a button here. So I will just do this thing. So we have a button we will name as. the edf component is we'll select on the export and we have that export collection action listeners so you just uh, track up and the, the export id we will just define like um, and type would be actually html click click on the save button Make sure that uh, the ID of the table you should match at the export ID. So I will just write like T1. Okay, so make sure that ID of the table you will uh, enter into the export collection action listener as export ID. Okay, and you can also define some cycle, some default data. File name should be. on the save I'm going to run this application so I just want right click on the JXPS page and then we will see uh, I think first uh, we will see because we have lot 
so many columns and we don't want to export all of them so we just want few of the columns to be exported so how we can do it we will see wait for the server to start okay server seems to have started so we will check uh, on the ui we have the data we have a button to call export to excel okay ui doesn't seem to be look good we are not able to see so change the group layout to the horizontal yep. Just modify the UI a little bit to look more better. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will again run to see the changes. Okay, so now our server up and running. So when we click on export to Excel here, a file is downloaded and let's open this file. Uh, some uh, method from the Microsoft error, but we will not take a concern about this. Then Okay, when we open this file, so we have so many data. I mean, we we are able to see uh, our data for all the columns. So, but now what? If we have the requirement, we only want to export only the these four columns, and we don't want to export these other columns. So, how we can do it? So we can do uh, using the set property action listener. So I'm going to write set property action listener and I will so I will track prop uh, the set property action listener above the export collection listener and what I will do the properties name as we will write some uh, values here for example uh, we don't need property action listeners we need property listeners so we just delete this and use this set property listener and add drop above the collection action listener right and here it will ask what you want to so i'm setting other uh, value as true and we will set the uh, two value as a uh, let's go to some page flow scope to hide So we are creating a variable on the page flow scope and we are setting up the two here and on what action we want on that action all right we have done it so if you see uh i will again try to drop another property listener down below the export collection action listener and he will i will write as false and i will use uh i will change the same property now called page flow scope Hide some columns. columns. Okay. Okay. So now we are making pause this variable on the page flow scope and on the type of action. Click on the OK. So now we will write uh, EL in all the columns and on which uh, we don't want to display. For the demo purpose, we have so many uh, columns. I will delete few of them. I've deleted four. Now we have four columns: uh, employee ID, first name, last name, and the email. So what I will do? I will. I'm. I'm going to uh, write an email in all the columns and all the columns on which I want to hide it. So I will select last name. And on the visible property, I will make it false. So, so, so. Yeah, I will write an EL here. Okay, 
so whenever this hide some column variable is not equal to true then only it should be visible and i will write same el on the email so now we have the four columns but uh, when we export only employee id and the first name will be exported to the excel and these two columns will not be exported now <clears throat> click on the save and we will try to run this page and see the result the main advantage so what we are doing so when we are making a variable here and we are setting up a value as true or false so when we click on this button this property listener will be called and it will set the value in the page flow scope variable into true and on that basis these two columns will be hidden then export collection action listener will be called and it will be only export only the visible columns and again uh, on this process then we will make it false and then again it will display so somehow we are uh, making uh, we are uh, playing or we are uh, making fool uh, to the framework and hiding for a short while these columns so that it will not be exported to the excel so, and in this case we don't need to write uh, any code for it we just need to we just need to write to el on the columns and that's it uh, you can also use apache poi but uh, if then only if you really want some customization you want some uh, decorative feature on the excel maybe some uh, big fonts or some calculation or whatever some some uh, more customization if you need on the generation of the excel file then you should need it otherwise you you just uh, you can just use it uh, this feature and you can only export few other columns let's see okay so now we have four columns uh, employee id first name last name and the email and when we click on the export to excel only two columns will be exported so let's see click on export to excel an excel file is generated i will click on here warning yes i want to open it and see we are able to see only we are able to export only these two columns and the rest two columns are not exported so we don't need to write any code here thanks thanks for watching if you have any question just write me an email thank you